Now, this next story is right up my alley. <laughs> you know me. I love candy. Sandy concessions hit that much sweeter when your team has a strong performance on the field. Or as Tony would say, confections. <laughs> Andrew Colgrove has a look at what venue's long-standing sugary staple. A lot of stadiums in football have concessions that are unique to their venues. Lane Stadium in Blacksburg, they have the turkey legs. The Pittsburgh Steelers have the Primanti sandwiches. Here at Putnam Stadium in Ashland, they have sweet and sassy cotton candy. We got blue raspberry and the pinkish cherry. Dane Thomas, whose son played football for the Tomcats in the early 20 teens, helps make and sell the popular confection. I notice a lot of pink and blue. Is it just really hard to find maroon and white food coloring? Yes. Um, when you mix, when you do red dye, it just turns to pink. I wonder why scientists haven't figured that out yet. I don't know. How many vitamins do you think are in that? Zero. <laughs> Is that one all right? Fitting to learn on Friday the 13th, they've been selling this treat at the stadium 13 seasons. If I tried to eat your glasses, would that be safe? Uh, no, that would not be safe at all. <laughs> They look really good, though. I know. They're sprinkled. Our mascot is so dedicated to his craft to keep his head on during the game. Instead of eating the cotton candy, he plays with it like a ball of yarn. How important is it to remember to wear the right horror villain on Friday the 13th? Uh, because Friday the 13th is Freddy Krueger. Everybody knows that, right? Yeah. Now, part of the proceeds from the cotton candy sales goes to the Ashland Momcats. I guess sometimes being a dad just doesn't pay off at all, right, Jimmy? <laughs> so, well, most days it does. You can agree to that. My man had a Nightmare on Elm Street shirt on, didn't he? Back the day, well, working the, the concessions. It is uh, Friday the 13th, so all scary movies can, uh, can apply to that. It is. All right, let's uh, check it out.